Welcome back, everyone. We're sure uh, glad you're joining us here for our News Talker Time now, 949. Two guests this morning, special guests from the American Heart Association, Heather Smart, American Red Cross, Matt Trotter, and kind of crossing over this morning because we're talking about the blood shortage and we're talking about heart health as well. And people who have uh, heart conditions can donate blood, which I'm sure a lot of people didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we want to bring awareness to together. Is yeah. that it's uh, safe for people with hypertension or a history of heart disease to be able to donate blood. We just have some precautions we want them to think about right. and um, bring along our friend from the Red Cross to be able to share too. Okay, we'll talk about the precautions because yeah. there are a lot of folks out there who have you know different heart issues. Yeah. And so what should they think about? Yeah, so if you have hypertension or a history of heart disease, again, it is safe for mm -hmm. you to donate blood. The thing that we want people to know is at the time of donation, it's important what your blood pressure is. So if you have a history of hypertension, mm -hmm. at the time of donation, your top number should be 180 or below, and your bottom number should be 100 or below. So if you have a history, again, of hypertension and your numbers are normally higher than that, what matters is the time of donation, what your blood pressure rates are. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing, too, when it comes to heart disease or conditions, make sure you disclose at the time of your donation the medications you're on. That's right. important for organizations like the Red Cross to be able to know as they're giving mm -hmm. out that blood donation and supply what the uh, donor has been taking for medications. And Matt, I know that's one of the main questions they ask too. What medications are you on when you go to donate blood? Exactly. And what we want people to know is just because you're on, say, a blood pressure medication or mm -hmm. something like that, it doesn't necessarily disqualify you. So we do get a lot of myth-busting opportunities where people think they can't donate because mm -hmm. they're taking a certain, certain medication, um, but really they can. So it's important to ask that question. Yeah, is there a place you can check to see before you even come what medications are accepted? Oh, definitely. We have that information at redcrossblood.org, mm -hmm. um, or if you prefer to talk to somebody, you can call 1-800-RED-CROSS and somebody can answer those questions. Let's talk about the shortage that's been going on, it seems mm -hmm. like for a very long time. Right, in January we declared a national emergency blood shortage mm -hmm. because we saw a 20 year low in the number of blood donors that we had. So it's really important, even though that we've moved out of the shortage at this point, yeah. to continue building our base of donors and bringing in more eligible folks. Only about 3% of age eligible people in the US donate in any given year. So the more people we can add to that, the better um, for patients, for the blood supply, for everybody. You need that number to go up. And I know the summertime, there's maybe a lot more accidents and things like that with people traveling and stuff like that, needing more blood um, transfusions and stuff like that too. Um, higher needs sometimes and mm -hmm. lower supply because people are traveling and well, they absolutely. don't make their appointments and things like that. Yeah, you never even think about that. Yeah, people are traveling, they're too busy to even go donate some of those regular donors who would normally come in in part of that 3%. Yeah. Well, Heather, this is good to know then for what else should people know then for the, um, the heart issues? I think if anything, you know, just consulting Heart Association and American Red Cross are the experts and if you have questions and being able to consult um, those organizations if you have concerns or questions if you're eligible for a donation but the biggest thing we want people to know is not be afraid to donate if you have a history of heart disease or yeah. hypertension you are eligible and it is safe in most circumstances for people to go uh, donate their blood. Yeah don't just automatically count yourself out ask your doctor those questions or call the American Heart Association or American Red Cross. Thank you guys for coming we appreciate it. Thanks for having have us. a good day. Thank